Welcome back to day two of our cleaning and pre-packing. Hi there, I'm Annette Marble and I'm with Key Realty. Let's get started. Let's remove the appliances like the blenders and toasters and place those in an easy access cabinet. The goal is for the buyer to see how much space you have and envision their lives just as organized. They don't want to buy a home that's jam-packed. When it comes to your home decor, knickknacks lying around and other accessories, you want to pre-pack anything smaller than a baseball. It's okay to leave some decorative things out on the coffee table, like a candle or a plant, but you don't want too much stuff. That includes personal items, such as a giant family photo on the mantel, the sports trophies, and the artwork from the kids. Now for the bathroom. Go through things like your makeup, toiletries, hair products, skincare, you name it. Chances are you're not using a lot what you have stocked up in your cabinets and on the countertops and in the linen closets. Throw out any expired products and pack away what you aren't using daily. Grab some of those little bins to keep band-aids, cleaning products, and extra toilet trays. This way, your cabinet will stay organized with what is left. Tune back tomorrow for day three on how to keep things organized. And as always, we're keeping it real here in Real Estate with Annette Marble and Associates.